Russell with Piano Outlet. Today is Saturday, I think it's September 27th. Anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit about today about some of the pianos that we have uh, currently in uh, production here, some that are finished, some that we're working on with uh, regard to our piano disc electronics. Uh, we install the uh, piano disc low profile system, which is the newest and uh, most advanced player system on the market today. And uh, right now we have two pianos, one of, actually two of uh, three pianos going out this week. Uh, this is Mike's piano. This is a Yamaha C5, six foot seven Yamaha Grand at Conservatory Series. It's a 2000 or 2001 model, I'm not sure exactly. I have to look at the one, but it's a rather late model piano. And it has a piano disc low profile in it. And uh, it's gonna be going out uh, next week. And this over here is a Yamaha, is a Kawhi. This is a GS70, this is a seven foot six concert grand piano. This is going to Atlanta to a customer named Two. And uh, I'm gonna demonstrate both of these pianos and then talk a little bit about some of the uh, projects that I'm currently working on. This piano here is a Yamaha G5, out of 1980 or so, and it's going to the San Francisco area. And then I have over here, this is a Yamaha CS2, this is an eight foot three, and this is actually going to California, and it's gonna have a piano disc system with a silent and uh, basically everything you can uh, throw at it, we're gonna be putting into it. And it's going to Silicon Valley probably in about a month or so. Uh, I actually just started on it, just finished the new breath. But anyway, right now what I'm gonna do is uh, just demonstrate how you can actually use either one of these pianos when it arrives to your house. And uh, it's all, uh, well, both pianos are ready to go. Uh, they're both plugged in, they're both turned on. So all we really need to do at this point is to just go into our computer or our iPad and uh, choose uh, which piano we want to play. Right now we're gonna choose the C5 because I named the network on the C5 Airport Express, the C5 piano, so we'll go in here and uh, we're gonna choose C5, there we go. And let's play a little bit of Ray Charles. Camera's gonna go around and pan while you get to listen to the piano. I hope Mike, you enjoy it. You'll notice over here that we install a user box. This is uh, for the piano and audio system. And basically what happens is if you want to turn the piano up, you use this knob. If you want to turn the background music up, you turn the A knob. Very, very simple. When you have your uh, iPad or your computer set for volume, you want to keep it at about 90% because this will give you the, uh, the necessary uh, uh, volume uh, level going out to the piano to get it to, uh, to trigger. <clears throat> you, could also, you could also lower it by, uh, by using your volume slider on your uh, iTunes, like for instance over here. It will play lower. Okay, let's try this GS9. switch the network over to the GS70 over here, the Kawhi. So we're going to see the Kawhi start playing in just a second. I just got to select it over here next to the slider control over here. We're going to pick GS70 Grand and we're going to press play. And
They will line up perfectly for all the keys. And this is the way that you want to do an installation, so to make sure that it's perfect, because once you mate this key bed to the piano, you're done. I mean, <laughs> it's pretty hard after you do the wiring to, uh, to uh, do it over in case you make a mistake. So I spend a lot of time with these pianos, making sure that all the solenoids line up correctly. Uh, we also install these stops, which uh, when, the, uh, when the piano is uh, in the upright position, and you push the action back inside. These are very important because in shipping, sometimes this action might want to move. It might want to move this way because what happens is that these actually belong in the middle here, but since we put the solenoids in, I take them out, but I replace them over here on either side. So that way you're ensured that the action won't, won't shift during shipping. So one thing that you would like, I would like you to notice is how nice and neat our cuts are when we do our slots, because uh, uh, this is uh, not very common. A lot of times when you see these cuts done, they're done on the piano with a hand saw or a circular saw, and uh, not nearly as neat as ours come out. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration of our uh, pianos that we are working on this week. Actually, finished with those two, working on this one here, this G5, working on this C2, uh, CS2, it's eight foot three. Yamaha concert brand, and uh, we just keep on going here, that's for sure. So, I hope you enjoyed the little video. Thank you very much for watching.